the fourth generation Acura MDX. We now have all the details and in today's video, I'm gonna go over availability, pricing, fuel economy. They even provided spreadsheets for us so I didn't have to make any. And at the end, of course, we'll talk about the Type S because yeah, Acura is a performance brand. <laughs> Welcome back Luxurious Fleet. If you're new, my name's Kirk. I talk about Japanese autos, a little bit of Korean and EVs as well. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and you're probably a 77 percenter anyways. So just, just subscribe. All right, guys, I could go over this entire list here, uh, this press release, and it's massive. I'm not gonna bore you. I picked out my favorite features, and then we're gonna go into the spreadsheets that they provided for us. All right, so double wishbone suspension, that's pretty cool. This thing is gonna handle much, much better. I'm not gonna get into the technicality of that, but I'm gonna get more into some other interior features, especially that I really like. Uh, the digital display, it's called Precision Cockpit. You have a 12 inch digital instrument cluster behind the steering wheel instead of the physical dials. It's fully customizable. And along with that digital display, you get another one. They're both 12 inch screens. It is not a touch screen. It's still the uh, direct touch interface, which, I it's hit or miss, but the good news about it is that it is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And of course it has Amazon Alexa, which I'm pretty much glued to this time of the year. But just having wireless CarPlay and Android Auto is a lifesaver for so many people. It just makes our lives that much easier. Next feature that I think is cool is LED lighting. I'm probably sounding like a millennial at this point in time, but a lot of people really enjoy LED lighting setting the ambiance inside the interior of the vehicle. You have 27 different uh, selectable lighting modes. Three of them are mapped to the dial that you use for the dynamic modes, and then 24 of them are selectable based off of whatever you wanna have in the vehicle. Okay, I'm going to the script for this one because there's a lot more numbers. I thought this one was really cool. Okay, of course we have more cargo space. That's a welcome addition in any new vehicle over the, the previous MDX. So one and a half more cargo space of cubic feet there. And then when you fold down all the seats, you get about three more to a total of 71.4 cubic feet. But the more storage is not the thing that, that I really like. You get expanded underfloor storage behind the third row with 80% more space available under the cargo floor. The floor panel drops into the cargo well to expand the MDX's rear cargo area behind the third row to 18.1 cubic feet, and it's reversible with a carpeted side and an easy to clean hard side for dirty or wet items. I really appreciate the Acura sticks to its roots and provides tons of usability for their buyers. And lastly, this is the first time we've seen the A-Spec trim and it looks awesome. I love the smoked out lights. The grill is blacked out with the black surround, the black wheels, everything about it just looks really cool. And of course your interior A-Spec options are gonna be a little bit more aggressive as well. So A-Spec is gonna be one of the ones you're gonna see a lot on the streets, I feel. Just like how the RDX does really well in the A-Spec trim. Now it's time for us to get into some of those more features, et cetera, with the spreadsheets. Okay, so the 2022 MDX is gonna be available starting February 2nd. Here's all the pricing. We're gonna be focusing on this column here for the most part, because it includes a destination fee. Base MDX, 47,925. And guys, I've totally forgot one of my other favorite features. One of my favorite features in the RDX is a standard panoramic moonroof. Here in the MDX, I was hoping it would be standard, and guess what, it's standard. You get the panoramic moonroof, standard. Okay, let's get back to the pricing. I'm such an airhead. Fuel economy, 19 in the city for all these models, 26 on the highway for the more base options here, uh, probably because they're a little bit lighter or the wheels are a little bit less large, so less rotating mass would be my theory on why the fuel economy is a little bit better on the base models, but it's just one miles per gallon. No one's gonna notice that. All right, so if you want the MDX front wheel drive with the technology package, then it's 52,625. Now you can get super handling all wheel drive on the base. I was kind of surprised by that, but you can get it. And that slides in right under 50K. The MDX with the technology and the super handling all wheel drive, 54,625. If you want the A spec, that only comes in super handling all wheel drive as well as the advanced spec, uh, but 58K roughly for the A spec and for the advanced fully loaded until the type S comes out again, stay tuned for that to the end of the video where we'll talk more about that. But the top of the line MDX with the V six, 
non-turbo is 61,675. One spreadsheet down, one to go. And this one's big and I'm probably gonna nerd out quite a bit. So <laughs> here we go. Let's start with the engine, 290 horsepower V6, 267 pound-feet of torque. We see this engine in a ton of their products. It's been around for a long time. It's gonna be super reliable. So put all reliable, old trusty dusty V6 in there. No one's really gonna complain, I don't think. Now there's also no mention at this point in time in hybrid powertrains, which I didn't expect. Fingers crossed because old MDX did, the outgoing third generation had a hybrid. So going forward, maybe in a couple of years, they give us some information, maybe a plug-in hybrid, a normal hybrid, something to combat Lexus because Lexus is going uh, hard in electrification, probably starting in the next year or two. Okay, hopefully Acura has some sort of answer for that. All right, back to the spreadsheet here. If you're gonna to be towing with it, front wheel drive can tow 3,500 pounds. All wheel drive is gonna get you 5,000 pounds. They are recommending premium fuel on this, and that's probably to get those horsepower numbers and fuel economy numbers. It's gonna do just fine on regular as well. Just don't expect to get quite as good fuel economy or towing numbers. If you're towing, definitely put premium in it but you should be fine just putting in 87 if you want. If you guys want to learn more about uh, the chassis, go ahead and read about it. It's a little bit too technical for today's video. Same thing for the exterior dimensions. Wheelbase is important for a lot of people, so there's the new wheelbase. It's definitely bigger than the older wheelbase. And if you guys think you need a very specific amount of leg room or headroom or shoulder room, that's all gonna be in this graph. Moving forward, cargo room, definitely check that out, even though I touched upon that already. If you wanted to look at the curb weight, there it is. All the new safety features. This is going to have the most safety features out of any Acura product. So rest assured, I don't really get into safety features much. They don't excite me a whole lot. Yeah, just know that all the safety features for the most part are standard. I'm sure there's some um, exceptions here like low speed braking controller only on the technology package and above. Heads up warning display. So that means that's only on the heads up display. Uh, that's only in the advanced package. Now, this is a really good sign here is that uh, we have spare tires on all of the all wheel drive models. However, if you're getting a front wheel drive model, doesn't look like you're going to get a spare tire. Uh, uh, you will be getting a tire repair kit. I know that's a big deal for a lot of people. Parking sensors you'll get on every package except the base and surround view camera. So if you wanted the 360 camera, the only way you're getting it is in the advanced. So A spec, I'm sorry guys. If you want the remote start on your key fob, that's only available on the advanced package. Audio systems, this is pretty important. Acura has some phenomenal audio systems, so let's break it down. The base package is the standard audio system with nine speakers. Uh, you have two different ELS audios with a potential third one we'll talk about later. 12 speakers here, I believe this one's around 550 watts, and that is on the technology package, but if, when you go to the A-Spec and Advanced, uh, you get the 3D Premium Studio Sound ELS, and that's gonna have 16 speakers and 710 watts. Now charging ports, this is a big deal for me. I have kids, you know, they need to charge things. It's charging ports up front. And not only is standard charging uh, or standard wireless charging standard, that's a lot of, <laughs> can't, wireless charging is standard. So are the charging po uh, ports as specified. So the first row gets a USB-C, a USB-A, which is two of those, and an accessory socket, so that's a 12 volt. Charging ports in the second row, you get two USB-As and an accessory socket. So a 12 volt back there as well. They could stick a, a converter in or a USB plug in. That's standard. On the advanced package, it takes it to the next level. Okay, you can get an AC outlet in that second row, and then also two USB ports in the third row uh, of the MDX when you get that advanced package. So the advanced package is looking to be the most well-rounded package with a family of the 360 camera, heads-up display, more safety features, uh, more charging availability, and you know, for road trips. It's looking pretty tempting. You're just gonna have to fork over 60K to get it. Now there is an accessory uh, socket in the very back. So the base package doesn't get leather, but the rest of them uh, get sport seats with perforated Milano premium leather. Technology package gets contrast stitching. Then you also get piping on top of that nice stitching uh, with the two highest trims, the A-spec and the advanced package. Standard is 12-way power seats with lumbar support. And then on only on the uh, advanced package do you get the 16-way power seats with power lumbar, 
thigh extension and side bolsters. It's kind of a bummer you don't get um, you know, more customizations on the A-spec, especially when they want you to be driving it a little bit more aggressive. You wanna have the best seats for that. Hopefully the standard A-spec seats are, are a little bit more aggressive. We'll have to find out. Ventilated seats are standard on the two highest trims where heated front seats are standard throughout. That's good to see. Driver's seat memory is also standard. If you get a technology package and above, it's also standard for the front passenger. That's impressive. Heated rear seats, outboard positions are only available on the advanced package. So sorry guys uh, if you wanted them on the A spec and below. You get manual sunshades on that advanced package. Power tilt and telescoping steering column is standard. Heated steering wheel. Ooh. Ah. Guys, I'm reading this for the first time uh, with you guys. So some of these come as a surprise to me. Heated steering wheel is only available in the advanced package. I'm nervously clicking my pen because that drives me crazy. Only stand on the advanced package. I feel like that should be optional on the technology and A spec. Ouch. If you want a heated steering wheel and its closest competitor, Lexus, it's easy to get on like some of their really, really inexpensive models. Oh, that's a tough one to swallow there. There's more I could have gone over there, but more importantly, I need to go over the Type S. It is coming in the summer of 2021. We don't have official pricing, but I'm gonna take a stab at it. The advanced package is costing us, with destination, about 61 and a half K. I would expect that the Type S is gonna be coming in at around 70 K with a 355 horsepower V6 10 speed automatic, which is standard throughout the lineup, by the way. I didn't talk about that, but the 10 speed is standard on this vehicle. I mentioned the 355 horsepower and 354 pound feet of torque coming from a three liter turbo six. And those numbers could be underrated. Uh, as we know, Honda and Acura often underrate their engines. And there's other companies out there that do the same, like Porsche, for example. ELS audio is getting another step up to 1,000 watts. That is an increase of about 300 watts over the top end on the A-spec and the advanced packages. And we got a couple images of it. That's about it. The one on the exterior looks really cool. Of course, that's like the tiger eye paint, if I remember correctly. Looks awesome. It's got 21 inch wheels. It's got the biggest wheel and tire combination in Acura's history. And then on the interior, that white interior just looks so, so sick. Hopefully it doesn't stain, you know, when you wear jeans and clothes that have dye on them, which is most of them. Hopefully it doesn't rub off on those beautiful white seats, but really that's all we have on the type s more information will become available as we get closer to the launch hopefully you enjoyed today's video and definitely smash the like button i'm excited for the new mdx i think it's going to be a great seller for them they've been stuck at oh just about a little over 50,000 units per year here in the united states for the mdx i think this next generation could really set it up past 60 if everything goes well. I don't see a reason why I can't sell over 60,000 units per year, uh, especially the, this next year, let's say 2022 model year. So 2021 calendar year, when like the Lexus RX is kind of, you know, growing old in the tooth, the Infiniti QX60 is not going to be out anytime soon, maybe summer of 2021. So they'll definitely have a head start on a really, really competitive field, but they will be the one of them you know, the one that's pushing the envelope, the one new one, uh, providing really great three row, excellent sportiness, luxury, and a very competitive segment. I think they'll do great. But guys, I'll see you in the comments. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This is my second video I made today. And I'll see you guys down below. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and peace out.